What is going on guys? DBG here lads and we have got We have got a such an interesting thing Apparently there are dynamic duos as well Not that I can see but we have got the gauntlet spotlight sim cards all dark matters except for there are three Galaxy Opals here that came in the idol set but we got Gauntlet Spotlight SIM cards and we've got Invincible Taco Fall. I don't know what the stats are. I have not seen any of these yet. Thank you, Mike, for giving the tier one. Really appreciate it. But let's start off. One of the 2K20 goats, Danny Manning. 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 92 three ball, 53 hops. So all, we all know these are real dark matters. These are not fake dark matters. We, these are not fake dark matters. These are real dark matters. Half range extender, half clamps, half fire crusher, half interceptor, 91 speed with ball. All right, these are mediocre at best stats, but they're still pretty good. He's one pound too heavy to curry slide on next gen, which is a bit of a problem. D low base is like Kyrie base. He kind of sucks. No offense, he kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's a free dark matter. And it's a lot better than this Ruby, Danny Manning, that we had earlier on here. It's a million times better than Danny Manning. I just wish they gave him Amari base. Amari base is better than D-Lo base. I don't know why they changed that. But yeah, he's, uh, he's not it. He's not it. But at the same time, it's, there's 30 cards. Not all of them are going to be great. Reggie Lewis. If you guys don't know. If you guys don't know. Reggie Lewis, God. Reggie Lewis is a God. He will always be. Will always be one of the goats 2k half range extender enough half defense about that he's good 95 lateral no real post moves that's his only real problem he's got 91 three ball 94 speed 94 acceleration 95 driving dunk he's got base four what's his upper that's a good upper though that's mitch richmond's upper it's gonna look like mitch richmond's release but pro three behind like pro two escape i like him I like this card right here. Again, maybe because he's Reggie Lewis. Maybe because he's Reggie Lewis, because I always do like Reggie Lewis in 2K. But that might be it. And you guys see, I'm not going to click on him now, but Eddie freaking Curry, lads. But first of all, Terry Dishinger, the dentist. The dentist is here. We got, his, we got him nicknamed the dentist. And he is the dentist. He is the freaking dentist. Will we need to play 2,000 games to get him? I hope, I hope not. I really hope not. I played 900. All oh, half defensive badges bar one. Half quick first step. Gold tie handles. Yeah, he doesn't need any of these badges. Half range. 97, 95. He's, a, he's basically a hidden invincible. Rudy base mellow. Pro 3, pro 2. The dentist is freaking quality. The dentist is quality. Absolutely quality, lads. The dentist. The dentist is absolutely fantastic. That's all I'm going to say. This dentist card, man, he's going to be good. He's going to be so good. Bob had it. See, so Sesha 14? Yeah. Pro 2, Pro 3. And Curry on both gens. Like, what weight was Bob Pettit? Was he 205 in this card? 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 97 three ball, 95 driving, 92 lateral. Every single shooting badge, including blindness. He's an next gen made card. He is a next gen made card. People are saying the card out's there, which it's not. Um, defensively, he's good. He's really good. He is a next gen made card, though. I bought Pat, it's good, but he is most definitely a next gen made card. He is most definitely a next gen made card. I can play at the three as well, which is good. It's the best ball pad we've seen since 19. This is kind of this is the card I'm most actually excited about is Wiseman. 93 ball, 93 speed. All half defense badges by like two. Pro two, pro three, 235 pounds. Still got that same Steph Curry release. Let's compare to Wiseman. Let's compare to Wiseman. 189 better total stats. Alright, we're looking at one of the best centers in the game on next gen. 
we're looking at one of the best total best total stats in the game that's all i can say some of the best total stats in the game we're looking at Cardar is on twitter um they it's it's all right it's all right so i'm gonna say it's all right um then we have got hakeem olajuwon i'm just saying james wise is gonna be gone james wise played a four he might be my new power forward depending on how good these other guys are hakeem olajuwon 51 hoffs all the hot defense badges you need every badge but stop and go steady these are 69 total badges 90 speed 90 acceleration 90 drive no but he has a player build that he's super fast his player build is super super fast 255 pounds so he can can't carry but he can side to side 95 3 99 block set shot 18 I, I don't mind set shot 18 pro 3 behind the back pro 2 escape he's like a poor man's he's like a poor man's um Dikembe. Yeah, that's he's pretty much like a poor man to Kembe. And lads. Eddie freaking curry. Seven foot, seven five wingspan. 93 three pointer, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. He's got 90 lateral quickness. He has got half showtime. Defensive badges. He's got almost all the defensive badges. Half quick first step. And if he gets base today, I'm very quick. Pro 3, he doesn't get Pro 2, which means he can't side to side, which is a little bit annoying, but he does get shifty. Pro 4 behind the back's not great. I mean, he's still the best Curry in 2K. Like, it is what it is. He is still the best Curry in 2K, but... I mean, no Pro 2, which means no side to side. He's still elite, though. I will still use Eddie freaking Curry quite a lot. I just wish he had the Pro 3 behind the back. But he's still not bad. He is still not bad at all. Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish is a card that a lot of people are really excited about. Nine, six foot eight. he has got... He's seven foot tall or seven foot wingspan. 94 3, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 8, 95 driving dunk. Thank you for the sub, Nikki. Uh, 95 lateral. He's got range extender, Hall of Fame. All the defensive ads you need. PG on very quick. Pro 2, Pro 5. Uh, honestly, let's just compare him to Paul George. So I think Paul, they're basically the same because he got one inch long, he's one inch taller, one inch longer wingspan. PG is actually significantly better stats wise, but a lot of guys in like standing dunk and stuff. I mean, he's just going to be a poor man's Paul George, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. Like, calling him a poor man's poor Paul George is not a big deal at all. Arvita Sabonis. Can play power forward. Thank you, man, for the sub. Oh, lads. Oh, lads. Right here. 99 offense, 99 defense. 7 3 with a 7 foot 6 wingspan. 89 speed. Yeah, he's too heavy to Curry, but they still gave him... Okay, thankfully they didn't give him Pro 2, but he's got a good behind the back on current gen. Yeah, he's going to be good. He's like mini Chris Dapps. No, actually, sorry, he's not Chris Dapps. Chris Dapps can Curry. He's like... He's big. He's big. He can dribble a little bit as well. With shifty dribble stop. I mean, he's a he's a problem. Arvita Sabonis is a problem. A top 10 all-time center, in my opinion. He is a problem. This is like prime Sabonis in 2K. Page is the active, which what's his release? So it's the same as the other one. Pro 2, Pro 3, Shifty. Now I need a three ball. Mediocre speed at best. Defensively, he's... I mean, Page is okay. Page is okay. That's all I'm going to say. Page is... He's fine. Like, I'm not going to say this card's bad because he's just straight up not bad at all. But if we're talking about the best of these cards, he's probably going to end up being one of the weaker ones. He's probably going to end up, end up being one of the weaker ones. Page is not terrible. We got Jingles. Joe Ingles, 6'8", 6'10", wingspan, 50 halves. Half range, anchor breaker. Defensively, he's solid. Did they fix his release? No, they didn't. This guy is going to be a trash can on current gen. Pro 2, Pro 3. He's got a good 3 ball, though. Decent defense. Problem is, he's going to be a trash can on current gen. That release is awful. That release is awful, lads. So, yeah. Joe Ingles, if you're a Jingles fan, go get him. If not, he's not going to be great. Thurman has potential. Thurman has potential. 6, 11, 7, 2 wingspan. Oh, dear lord. He's got, oh, he's only a 75 three ball. 
Those come with gold range and a mediocre release. I mean, this is like one of the few players. This is like one of the few players where you're like, okay, if you've got Phil Jackson, you could actually be pretty good. But there's no point using him because there's better options. But his defense is exceptional. It's exceptional. And he's got an elite player build and a good release. So he's actually a really, really solid card. He is really, really solid. Sean Marion. I mean, he's got Marion release. Well, actually, you know what base did they get Marion? 39 with Marion's upper. I don't even mind that Marion's released, to be honest. But they gave him pro one everything, which is not great. Um, 95 speed. I mean, his stats. He has the best stats. I mean, he's a freaking hidden invincible. He's got low badges, but I mean, he's Sean Marion. He's Sean Marion, lads. You can't. You can't uh, say that Sean Marion's ever going to be great in game because he's Sean Marion. Mark Eaton has potential as well because he's 7'4. He's a big. He's big. And then as soon as Cardiac comes out, the uh, it starts to slow down. So we've got Richard Jefferson here. Oh, they gold. They have the gold um, positions. They have the Chauncey Billups effect. Chauncey Billups, I'm pretty sure, is the only player in the game to have gold here. Or he's one of the only ones. 97 three ball, 98 speed, 98 acceleration, 97 ladder. Holy moly! Thank you, BRB, for the sub. They just made... He's, an invin he's a hidden invincible. What the hell have they done to Richard Jefferson? Does he still have the catapult? He still has the catapult, but I mean... I can guarantee you this release is fine and very quick. Pro 3 behind back Pro 2. They juiced up. Thank you, EBL, dude, for the sub. We appreciate it. They... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They juiced Richard Jefferson. They completely... Completely juiced Richard Jefferson. Wow. Juice Mark Eaton, come on. 75 three ball. I mean, he can hit from the corners, I guess. He's still got every half defense about 85 speed at 7 for 4. Normal. Oh, normal 2! If you guys know about the normal 2 side to side. If you guys know about the normal 2 side to side. Mark Eaton it will be interesting. He's not going to be good by any means, but Mark Eaton will be interesting. Oh, wait, does he have a 25 ball handle? Oh, yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, don't use Mark Eaton. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just assumed he would have had a 70 ball handle at least. Yeah, 25 ball handle. Yeah, just don't use Mark Eaton. Mark Eaton sucks. Mark Eaton sucks. He doesn't need range. He has a 28 ball handle. He sucks. Pau Gasol, 250. Pro 2, Pro 3. Pau on very quick. Um, I'll use Pau occasionally because I like Pau. And Pau and Mark are in this set. But he's not great. Defensive badges. A couple of good ones. Couple, half quick first step. I mean, Pau's fine. Pau is absolutely fine. But, uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing absolutely spectacular in Pau Gasol. Like, he is a fine card. He's not great. He's not awful. I wouldn't go out of my way to use him. But if you're a big Pau Gasol fan, which in fairness, I am a big Pau Gasol fan, you uh, should go get him. And that's the thing with all these cards. If you're a fan of them in real life, go and get them. <laughs> and I muted the wrong thing. Apologies. I meant to mute my mic. Okay, we're back. Okay, Marc Gasol. We got Pau's brother right here. He's got Sesh at 18, Aldridge. Pro 2. Still too heavy to do anything with it. Pro 1 behind the back is pretty good. Really good defense. Basically all the defense badges you need. I accidentally mute I accidentally mute my mic lads instead of muting my desktop. Or I actually mute my desktop instead of my mic. Solid. Solid. Um But yeah. So anyway, this card's bang average. He's he's fine. If you're a Marcus All fan, which again I am. But lads, just a heads up, lads. Kevin McHale has the potential. He has the potential. 
when we when we're talking about potential this card is more potential than anyone this card might be the best he might be the best seven foot 11 wingspan dino build 94 3 89 speed it might be a little bit low that might be a little bit low but i don't think so every hall of fame defensive badge only gold range though trey young i'm very quick pro to escape curry this is dino raja this is like dino raja with gold range oh, they only gave him gold range if they gave him half range if they gave him half range we would be looking at if they give him half range and a plus and you even put like a plus three speed shoot, we'd be looking at one of the best players oh and he doesn't have hot spots from the wings oh yeah he's a next gen card he's good on next gen he's not gonna be good on current he's not gonna be good on current kevin McHale's a next gen mate card Alan Houston, 6669 wingspan, 973, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. Oh, he has Allen base, doesn't he? 90 dunk, 94 lateral. He's got blinders, defensive badges. He's got all the ones that really matter. He's Ray Allen, but better. He's Bradley Beal, but better. He is re if you are on next gen he is ridiculous he is absolutely ridiculous if you're on next gen and for anyone saying just um by dino instead of using mikhail i agree i agree but um alan houston's god tier if you're on next gen alan houston is god tier he has no intimidator man intimidator what does it cost like five five k he's undersized i mean people you, you don't know the power of Ray Allen based on blinders. This guy is not... Don't use him on current gen. If you're on next gen, he's one of the best. If you're on next gen, he is one of the best. I would not. I'm telling you, don't use him on current gen. Thank you, um, Bacon, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Gerald Wallace. He's got base four. He has potential. He has potential. 99 offense, 90 on defense. Overall, 6'7", 6 6'10", 6 wingspan, 220 pounds. 93 three ball, 98 driving dunk. 98 all defense stats. Thank you, Charlie, for the sub. Really appreciate it. 96 speed, 96 acceleration. Range extender. All the defensive badges. He's a beast. Base 4 is decent. Pro 2, Pro 3. He's insane. He is insanely, insanely good. Gerald Wallace is actually insanely good. Thank you, Darius, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Define Tiger, for the sub as well. Really appreciate it. But um, he is really, really good right here. Gerald Wallace is definitely one of one of what I will say is one of the best cards in this set. He is one of the better ones. So Lamarcus Aldridge. Did I give him a Mario base? Yeah, he's got Mario base. He's got Pro 2, but he can't do anything with it. Pro 4 behind the back. A half range extender, all the defensive badges. Decent defense that's I mean. He's just like a Mari. I mean, like, Amare is as good as him. In my opinion, Amare is as good as him. Like, is again, passing vision is where his stats really come from. I think Amare is just as good as him. So I don't rate Aldridge at all. I mean, I might use him again, because I like I like Aldridge in real life, but um, I am not a fan of this guy. Shrimp could be a beast, though. 47 halves. He's got... Um, he's 6'9", 7 foot wingspan, 97 3 ball, 89 speed. Did this card not only have 89 speed? Not have 89 speed? Oh, they didn't even make him faster. I mean, he's fine, I guess. He's got blinders. He's got Gallo base, Pro 2. I mean, he's fine. That's the problem. He is fine. Opal Wiseman's 9k. Opal Wiseman's 30k. And I put one of... Let's go! Someone bought my Wiseman. Someone bought my Wiseman. Thank God someone bought my Wiseman. If it's someone in the chat, thank you. Someone bought my Wiseman. But, um... Yeah. Wiseman's, uh... Wiseman to the floor. You're a next gen. That's the perfect player to get. Um... But, yeah. Shrimp's not great. We have Walt Frazier. 99.99.6467 wingspan. What release did they give him? Oh, that, that release is awful. That release is absolutely awful. Pro 3, move behind the back. Pro 2, escape. Um, 96 3 ball, 98 speed. I mean, that it's just that release, unfortunately. 
if you are on next gen it's fine if you're on current gen it's an unusable release i mean he's he's fine i guess he's fine he's perfectly perfectly fine that's the one word i can use to describe him is fine he's not great he's not going to be good but i mean if you want to use him go and use him if you're a knicks fan go and use him But, um, yeah. Now we have got Rip Hamilton. Rip Hamilton, 6'6", six 6'9", six, six wingspan, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 98 three ball. He's got 40, doesn't he? Yeah, 40 is a really good next-gen release. Not a great current-gen release. Um, really, really good next-gen release. Pro 2, Pro 3. Um, range extender hall of fame handles for days hall of fame lob city passer needle threader pass fake monster space creator quick first step unpluckable defensive badges again um pretty okay he'll be fine again he'll be a decent card if you're a big fan of the pistons or you're a big fan of him he's gonna be fine if not he's not gonna be great rondo 6-1 he's got a good release though in 32 Pro 2, Pro 3 is good. 51 hops. Per great, great stats in fairness, but he's Rondo. Simply put, he's 6-1. So, unless you're RCA to great, there's no real reason to use Rondo. John Collins, he's he's another one potential because he's got Kobe base. Kobe on very quick. Pro 2, Pro 3, shifty. Can play power forward. Eaton Curry, can't he? Yeah. Curry on next. All the defensive badges. He's, he's really good, by the way. He's actually really good. He's really good. I like this card. He's really good. He's really good on both gens. He's very, very good. Jay Rich. I don't even know what release Jay Rich has. Oh, he's at 31. He's got Eddie Jones release. Pro 2, Pro 3, Shifty, 94, 93, Blinders. He's just Eddie Jones. He's What the hell? He's got four, only got 43 hops. He's just Eddie Jones. He's just slightly better Eddie Jones. If you guys don't know what animations. Pro 2, Pro 3, um, same release, different upper. He's just Eddie Jones. I don't know why they only gave him 43 hops. That's like as many as they give him to Pink Diamonds. Jason Kidd. He's awful. He's got Jason Kidd release. <laughs> Simply put, Jason Kidd's got Jason Kidd release. It doesn't matter. He sucks. He sucks. Jason Kidd absolutely sucks. If you guys don't know, Jason Kidd release is horrendous. It is horrendous. And if they gave Chauncey Billups, Chauncey Billups release. Yeah. Yeah, Chauncey Billups. People are saying Jason Kidd is literally 6'4". I mean, he was, he's always been 6'4". He's been always listed as 6'4". What are you, what are you talking about? Like Chauncey Billups, I'm I'm sorry, Chauncey Billups release is awful. It might be okay. I'm very quick. So all the defensive badges. Six three six nine wingspan or six three six six wingspan. This is one of the weakest cards in this whole set. This is one of the weakest cards in the whole set. But Caruso could be good. Six five, only forty six hops. What did this one have? Oh, we only had twenty nine hops. Half range, no blinders, couple of defensive badges, ninety eight. 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 94 three ball, 95 driving dunk, lateral quickness, 97 is pretty good. Set shot set, or base 17, pro three bind back, pro two. He's all right. Again, if you're a Caruso fan, he's all right. This picture looks familiar. The, the, was there a Caruso card that already had that picture? Either way, it doesn't matter. Did this fan favorite card from last year have that picture? No, he, he definitely didn't. Then we got the guy everyone's focused on, Taco Fall. No hot zones outside the three. That's quite not great for current gen. People are saying he doesn't come quick for a step. Is is quick for a step in the token market? I clicked on open packs. Oh my god. Is um is quick for a step in the token market? Difficult shots, tires, so it's literally finisher intimidator. No, it is not. If quick for a step is in the token market, you just give it to him. But like he still comes with unpluckable. You give him gold quick for a step. He's 7'5 with an 8'2 wingspan. 99 in every stash. 
47, which is chicken on very quick. Pro 2, Pro 3. He side to sides. Anyone. Anyone. Anyone who says this is not a good card is crazy. Anyone, even without quick first step. He's got shifty. He's got shifty. He's 7 5 with an 8 2 wingspan. And he's got shifty. I don't care about the hot zones. I really don't care. I really. People are asking for this card to be upgraded. He's already the best card in the game on next gen. And he may be the best. He's. <laughs> let's, let's just, let's just st stay calm. Half range extender, 95 three pointer. Yes, he has a few cold zones, but he's got one of the easiest releases, or a few non hot zones. He's got one of the easiest releases in the game to green. He's got shifty dribble stop, an 8 foot 2 wingspan. Let me get it right. 8 foot 2. He's at 99 speed. Um, He's also got every defensive badge. And people are saying he's not. He needs to be updated. People are saying he needs to be updated. He's the most broken player. He is the most broken player I have ever seen in my team. And that includes last... Actually, no. Dribble glitch was a thing, so that does not include last year's Yamming. This is the most broken player we've ever got prior to July in my in a my team card. Including Invincible Kareem from last year. Including Invincible Kareem. It does not matter. Tendencies are one of the least relevant things ever. Defen we, fa we found out defensive stances were what all is all that matters. Not tendencies. This is one of the most broken cards in the history of my team. Everybody's talk saying, oh, he needs to be updated. He's terrible. Just wait for about three days. And you will not... You will be destroyed by Taco Fall every single time. Next gen, current gen, it does not matter. Rim running with Taco Fall is going to be the meta. So, lads. These cards right here. Thumbs, th thumbs down Danny Manning. Unfortunately. Thumbs up Reggie Lewis. Thumbs up Terry. Thumbs up next gen Pettit. Five thumbs up for um, Wiseman. Mid on Hakeem. Slight thumbs up for Eddie Freaking Curry. Thumbs up on Camarades. Thumbs up for Sabonis. Thumbs down on Peja. Thumbs down on Ingles. Thumbs down on Thurman. Thumbs down on Marion. Thumbs down on Eaton. Thumbs up on Richard Jefferson. Thumbs down on Pow. Thumbs up on Mark. Thumbs up on Mikhail. 18 thumbs up. Next gen for Allen Houston. Thumbs up for Gerald Wallace. Thumbs down for Aldrich. Thumbs down for Tramp. Thumbs down for Walt. Thumbs uh, even for Rip. Thumbs down for Rondo. Thumbs up for Collins. Uh, for J J or Jason Richardson. Thumbs down for Jason Kidd. Thumbs down for Billups. Meh for Caruso. And then if you can get Taco Fall, you're going to want Taco Fall. So obviously, if any of these guys are your favorite players, go get them. Go get them. Trust me. In terms of ability... You can probably get away with getting seven or eighties. And to be honest, a team with just some of these guys is going to be competitive the rest of the year. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.